Hey everybody, Ralph Hammonds here. And today's a really special day. I had um, a couple of my coaches, the people that I um, pay money to to, um, to help me with my healing work, getting my healing work out to the world, um, getting to do what I want to do. I had a couple of them, um, actually all three of them, that reached out and um, they're doing some really cool things today. And I was thinking on my run this morning because I knew some stuff was going on with, with them. I was thinking, you know, um, what's the difference? What's the difference between the people that heal from stuff, you know, the anxiety, the fears, the health stuff, um, figuring out the money thing? What's the difference between people? Because I, I was um, thinking about a few people. I don't want to divulge very specific details to keep privacy, but um, but two people that went through really severe severe things as children, things that, um, the horrors that children should never have to go through. And you read about it in the news and, and we all know what some of those things are. And um, two people I know that, um, that went through really horrible things. And one of them reached out to me a while back um, at the end of, of their rope and literally very, very close. And so we started working together and we're making some inroads and it's it's getting better and the thing is um it's a quite a, a thing to get up and over this um first and second and third levels of um getting over this sort of thing because um this person's whole life has been um a series of things that you know they even said themselves it's like failure after failure after failure after failure and what's the point? And um, and then there's this other person that I know of that um that is one of my Facebook friends, and I follow her on um on social media and, and her her work. And she um she went through the horrors also, but she um she's successful. She has really good friends. She's doing really big work in the world and helping a lot of people. And she actually started a nonprofit to save children from um, some of these horrors. And she makes millions of dollars. And so what's the difference? What's the difference between um, somebody that something happens and then life just turns out awful and other people, something happens and um, life turns out magical and it was the biggest win. And if those obstacles hadn't have been there, they wouldn't have been be doing these big things to save children around the world. So what's the difference? And you know what I what I found for myself, you know, because we went through really hard times. We I used to have a physical therapy practice in San Diego and five physical therapists working for me and drove an Audi sports sedan and lived in upscale Mission Hills. And my physical therapy practice was in Mission Hills, Mission Hills Physical Therapy. And it all came crumbling down. And um, my health came crumbling down. And for two years I couldn't run and I had severe bone pain and went through some really tough times and we hit the road and if a lot of you know my story you know we slept outside for a year while um, we were burning through lots of cash and we didn't know what to do and at one point my wife told me you have to get happy man and i knew it and but i just didn't know what to do and so what i did and i think what makes the biggest difference is i hired a coach and the first time it fell into my lap it was one of those god things and um Wendy, she calls herself the fairy godmother. People call her the fairy godmother. And she helped me start to really shift this inner stuff, this happiness thing, and started to shift my business thing. And then I met Kathy Wilkie over the internet. I interviewed a lot of coaches because I needed to know, like, well, how do you do this business coaching, this co this healing? For, um, how do you take a healing practice from a brick and mortar in-person physical therapy clinic? Now I wanted to do it online, and I knew I could do energetic healing work over the phone and over the internet, but how do you do that? And so I hired Kathy Wilkie from New York City. And she, um, it was a funny story because she wanted to move to Malibu um, and she had a long history of wanting that. And funny thing is after she was, I was, I was paying her money and she, um, she was coaching me on developing my business. Um, in that year, she got to move to Malibu. So that was kind of cool. It kind of works like that with the energetic stuff that we do. But she um, helped me grow my business. We went, I was counting it out, just about, just barely under four times our income increased. And the great part is 
we got to help a lot more people. And I got to have a, a life where I get to do my healing work with people from all over the world and support my family, take care of my family. So it started to go. And, um, and then I met um, Russell Brunson online and he um, had something, he had had a really terrible ha thing happen in 2014 and went to zero in income and all sorts of problems and started building up the, that company ClickFunnels. Um, and I bought his product and um, started to make websites. And so the first, um, the first one I made was called Miracles, Magic, Healing, and More. I think I might have called it Thrive Your Life. And it was a thing I had just started doing a once a month group session online. And I had, you know, I would email my people that I knew that were on my email list. And I said, hey, this Sunday, we're going to do a group session. And um, you want to pay me 20 bucks and we'll do it. And I got like 10, 11, 12 people, 14, 15 people every month. And I would email them every month and um, email a small group of people and get anywhere from 10 to 15 people a month. And, um, and then I got this funnel from um, Russell Brunson and I thought, okay, I can make a funnel. And I did two little videos. I went in Ben's playroom, did two videos, one talking about it and one um, talking about how to, how to get it and um, put it online. And that weekend, I forgot now if it was 11 or 14, it was right around there. I got that many new people right off the bat. And I was like, wow, that's cool. So that started me down the whole road of training under Russell, Russell Brunson and learning from his coaches how to um, make websites. They're called funnels where people can find me. And so then that happened. And so there were another, another coach that I had. And just to give you the, the heads up, I think that's the difference between success and not success is you got to find somebody that has been there and can help you get there. And that's called a coach. Um, and so then I, um, I met Kristen Michelson and met him online because um, my friend Jeffrey from San Diego said, you got to look at this guy. He's doing really good healing stuff and helping people with their businesses. So I got his thing and um, started working on some of the inner game stuff, the, more of the um, being happy first and clearing inner fears and anxiety stuff. And a doctor from Bellingham called me out of the blue and wanted to send me people um, out of the blue to send me to my clinic in San Diego. I mean, in Bellingham. And I was like, wow. And more people were finding me online from my YouTube videos. And Jen, my wife was like, what are you doing? And I said, I don't know, I'm doing this healing thing. And that turned into a whole body of work and study and learning from many different people about how to go inside and clear the inner blocks for healing and abundance. So another coach helped me. And, um, and so then I'm cruising along and I had, I thought I had figured out for a couple of years um, for, I, I thought, okay, I've got this thing figured out now. So I didn't get a coach. I didn't renew any of my coaching and I went a few months and for some reason, nobody was buying my stuff all of a sudden. I'm like, what's going on? I'm doing the same stuff and what's going on. And, and Jen and I realized, oh my goodness, we don't have a coach. So, so I, um, I prayed and I had been following this guy, Akbar Sheik. And so he, um, he was on Facebook and I um, called him and I prayed, like, I hope I talked to Akbar. And so um, he was on the phone. He said, hello. And he said, yeah, my sales guy just literally quit, not even today. And he's going to travel the world. So you get me. And I told him what was going on with my world and my business and stuff. And he said, well, it's your lucky day because um, today's, it was his birthday. And he, it was his day that um, he was launching a one day only launch of a new program that he was doing, The Coach's Secret. So um, I said, I'm in. And he said, you don't know how much it costs. You don't know what it is. I said, that's okay, I'm in. Because I knew, I knew, I already knew. I could feel stuff. And so, um, so I signed up with him. And within the week, we got three new um, long-term clients. And it was so wonderful because Ben really, really, really had outgrown his bike and said, um, make it so, Papa, when he rode around this really brand new, cool looking bike at Fanatic bike shop. And, um, and I was like, oh God, you know, I show, I want to buy Ben a bike and, um, and coaching even before I even started with, um, Akbar energetically it shifted. And, and then since I've been starting with him, big, big changes. So for me, the biggest thing has been to find somebody that knows how to do something. And for me, it was how to bring my healing work, my healing work, to the world. I knew how to help people, help people with their healing. I knew how to help people get over autoimmune conditions and over anxiety and chronic pain. I could do that. I just didn't know how to, to tell people around the world so they could find me. And these different coaches have been the thing that helped me. And if you want my direct links, I have direct links to them, to their best stuff. 
and a lot of their free stuff. And just PM me, just PM me if you want their direct links. Um, and I'll send them to you. Because some of them are launching stuff right literally today. And um, I don't want to just clog up the, the feed with a bunch of links. So if you want those things, PM me and I can direct you to, um, to them, to their special stuff that they're doing right now. And I think that's the difference between those two people I was talking about. One, he said, I've never, ever, ever reached out for any help like this. I've never um, gotten a coach, a healer, someone to help me. And, um, you know, lifelong anxiety to the point of it's the end of the rope time. And the other person has had numerous coaches and now she's a coach and, and she makes millions of dollars. And the most important thing is she helps a lot of people. So, so that's the big, the big thing. And, you know, I hesitate sometimes to tell people in our group about these sorts of things because a lot of healers have such a button around money. It's kind of like they think money's dirty or something, or you shouldn't charge for your money, your, your healing work. And it's like, man, if they can't find you, they can't find you. I know one person that, um, that told me, Ralph, my work sells itself. And she had like one client and then she ended up quitting anyway. And I'm like, it doesn't sell itself. You got to know how to reach people. So if you have something that you've solved for yourself, whether it's anxiety or a health thing or relationship thing or something, if you can help somebody, I think it's your duty. It's your duty. And, you know, Brendan Bouchard, one of the first coaches I ever interacted with, my friend Kim bought his stuff. And then we watched his stuff years ago, back in 20, golly, when was that? 2010 or something, 11, somewhere in there. Um, and and um, he posted something today that, you know, his greatest fear is, is um, being, is dying. And then looking back over his life and seeing what he could have become and where he didn't do it. And that's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. So if you've got something to help somebody, you might want to do it. You might want to do it. And PM me if you want um, links, direct special links to the stuff that I've, um, I've got from my coaches. And um, let's get out there. Let's heal yourself and heal the world. Bye now.